I guess the guy said you guys had a pretty lengthy film session yesterday. Was that productive? Or? You know, I don't know if there's any way of interpreting how good something is until you actually play again. Yeah. Uh, it it uh, was productive from the standpoint of listening. Yeah. And uh, the fact that film doesn't lie, you know, the old cliche. So uh, it was uh, uh, needed. We had practiced uh, eight consecutive days. Um, we had an opportunity to get, um, hopefully, our legs back underneath us and uh, have a spirited practice today, and we'll see how it transfers to the game tomorrow. After looking at it, after you looking at it, was defense mm -hmm. the main problem? Or well, no, 60% uh, was a real issue. Uh, I, I think that uh, we, uh, once again, uh, Get into a rebounding battle with a team that's six, 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 seven. We're seven foot, seven foot, uh, which uh, goes back to want to and will. Um, all those things that, that I think are um, misinterpreted with rebounders. Um, so that that was an issue. We uh, um, don't want to be the kind of team that sits there after the ball game and say, well, you know, we had open looks and we didn't get them down. Uh, I just uh, I, I hate that uh, cop out. Uh, for coaches, uh, I feel like we should um, uh, build something based on stops and toughness and hardness, which we're really uh, not as hard as we should be and not as tough as we should be. Um, uh, disappointing to, uh, to not build that identity at home. Um, that's how you string together a lot of road win or home wins. Uh, and it's going to be very difficult to go out on the road and win uh, without uh, a little better makeup, uh, a little better uh, defensive uh, approach to the game of basketball, which has been our entire emphasis basically since October. Team played shorthanded on uh, Monday night. Will it be again that way on tomorrow? Well, we'll see how practice goes today. You know, I, I, uh, I feel like uh, we have a real opportunity to grow as a team based on uh, guys coming back from a couple suspensions to see who, uh, who they are, see how long their memories are. Uh, and um, and if, if uh, they're willing to uh, um, to make the adjustments that we feel like are, are necessary, then maybe we'll grow and uh, get to a point where we can become a consistent basketball team. Because guard play is t typically uh, the biggest reflector in the consistency of a, of a basketball team. Tomorrow, a tough challenge, a uh, NCAA tournament team from a year ago and then a difficult road game also on Saturday. How is the team prepared? Yeah, you know, we, we are going to play three games, I guess, in a five-day stretch uh, starting uh, Thursday. And um, they'll, they'll all be difficult. Anytime you lose a game at home, which we did in New Orleans, and they all become uh, more challenging uh, in terms of uh, your trust level, who you're going to go watch, who you're going to go see. Uh, um, short preparations. Um, I think players probably like that. One day in between games, getting ready for the next one. Uh, we're going to have to carry over a lot uh, into, into each, uh, e each next opponent, and uh, hopefully we'll play well. Tomorrow's opponent has a game tonight against Baylor. Are you going to be watching that? Uh, I'm sure we will, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm uh, absolutely sure we will. I hope it goes seven overtimes. <laughs> How hard is it for a team? I mean, well, 26 hours they're going to have to uh, Most coaches would not do this. Uh, Mike is doing it as a favor to us. Uh, Mike is a dear friend and uh, went to college with him. Their coach is one of the great, great people in our business. And uh, we jacked them around on the schedule, had to change dates four or five times. They were already coming out west to Waco, already had plane tickets. And it was the only way we could play because of our next opponent, Washington State. So. Uh, he's doing us one heck of a favor to try to play back to back. What was practice like uh, yesterday, and, and what's kind of the mood of the team going into tomorrow night? Um, yesterday we just had a, a lengthy film session. Uh, oh, okay. Pretty much watched the whole game and uh -huh. saw everything we did wrong. Uh -huh. uh, defensively, uh, we did some things. Positive. I mean, it was a lot of positives, but I mean, pretty much defensively, it was just all bad for us. I mean, yeah, I mean, we, we saw a lot of things that we, we need to work on, but uh, I mean, that's what we went through yesterday. Was it the man defense or when you were in? Um, it, uh, it, it, I mean, it was pretty much everything. everything. I mean, we, we couldn't stay in between our man and the basket. I mean, that was a problem for us. And uh, I mean, it was very really disappointing because it's something we worked on uh, 
these past few weeks. And uh, I mean, I think it's something that, that we, we felt disappointed in ourselves. And I think I think we'll be fine and get better with it uh, next game. Is that, I know you never want to lose, but is that something that could spur you guys a little bit or motivate you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we never want to lose, especially at home yeah. like that. Um, and I think that's something that that motivate us and, and help us go harder and, and make sure that doesn't happen again. Uh, we're used to seeing uh, Julian play almost 40 minutes. Now mm -hmm. it was you, the guy that was on the court for 38. How mm -hmm. was it being in the, that much time? Um, I mean, it didn't feel too much different. Uh, I mean, other, I mean, I'm not used to being on the floor that long, but I mean, it really didn't feel too much different to me. But uh, I mean, I, I felt I felt fine on the floor. Uh, Got tired at some points of the game, but I mean, most part, I, I was fine. Uh, coming up, a uh, cha good challenge tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, tough game, and then a trip over to Washington. How are you guys uh, working for those two games? Yeah, yeah, we have two tough games coming up, and I think, I think we just keep working hard, like we've been working hard. Uh, I mean, and obviously, if we we play better defense, I think we'll be fine. Uh, I think offensively, we're fine. Uh, we're getting baskets. Uh, we missed a lot of easy baskets last game, but I think those are baskets that we usually make, and I think we'll be fine in these next two games. I know it's never a good moment to lose, but it's, yeah. is it better having these struggles right now than in conference play? Uh, I, I would say so. I think you would rather have your struggles in the beginning of the season rather than having it late. So, I mean, it's, it's better for us to have it now than, than later. So, I mean, I think it's good for us to have it now. Uh, Vince, a career high, 17 points on Monday night, but the goal wasn't accomplished to get the win. How do you resume that match against the tough team in the Warriors? Um, the offense was there, but our defense was terrible late. Later on in the game, we got fatigued and missed a couple of our defense assignments. So you feel like that was the main problem? Just yeah, that was definitely the main yeah, definitely one of the main problems. And we just, later on in the game, we just missed the assignments that blew the game. And what's the mindset of the team right now, I guess, going forward? I guess you guys are motivated to try to keep that from happening again? Just, yeah, definitely just trying not to lose in our house for the rest of the season and just trying to get ready for our conference play. Two tough rivals coming up uh, tomorrow and Monday. Uh, sorry, uh, Saturday. Um, what do you know about these two teams? I just know they're um, just a little bit better than New Orleans, and we just going to play harder than we did and better defense if we want to win. On the personal side, do you think these last performances you've had have earned you a, a starting five spot? I really don't worry about that. I'll just try to go out there and do my job and just play to the best of my ability for the team. Fans seem really excited and happy about your performances. Have you been receiving good feedback on social media from them? Um, yeah, I have a lot. Just I'm a hard worker and I just love things like that. And I don't feel like I have, I, I've been showing it really in games. I really got to play much harder than I've been.